Well, the government is mulling a 3,500 crore rupee production-linked incentive scheme for the toy industry. The government believes there is a strong manufacturing and export potential for India's toy sector, which could become a $3 billion industry. My colleague Danish Anand travelled to the toy city in Greater Noida to gauge the mood of manufacturers ahead of Budget 2023. The union budget is just around the corner and every industry is eagerly waiting to hear what's in store for them. One of the industries that is very eager for 1st February is the Indian toy industry. Although the Indian toy industry is $1.5 billion strong, but the global market share is just 0.5%. We are present at Toy City in Greater Noida, which is near the national capital, to find out what is the toy industry's budget wish list. The Indian toy industry has been a priority sector for the government as part of the drive towards greater self-reliance in manufacturing. A hike in customs duties of 60%, BIA certification and quality control orders have brought down imports by 67% in the last seven years. Export of toys from India has increased from $96 million in 2015 to $327 million in 2022. While the government wants India to soon become a powerhouse in toy manufacturing, toy makers say a lot more needs to be done. India has a big domestic population and a very small presence in the global market. The global market is more than 7 lakh crore, we are not even 0.5%. So there is a huge opportunity. In terms of the policy initiatives that we expect, we expect a PLI to come out. We also expect a national toy policy to come out in the budget. Sunlord Apparels and Toys and MSME is one of the major exporters of Disney soft toys from India. The company is hoping for incentives that will make Indian toys more competitive against Chinese toys in the global market. China accounts for 70% of global toy exports and India's share is less than 1%. On the company's wish list is a PLI scheme and the renewal of the Technology Upgradation Fund. The major need that we have right now is to have a level playing field with China with regards to exports. Now, China gives a subsidy or a draw duty drawback of about 14% to their toy exporters, while we get only about 15 to 2.5%. If the government supports our, uh, uh, our needs and helps us in uh, bridging the gap between what we have with China and Vietnam, we would definitely be able to cater to at least 5 to 10% of the global market in the next 10 years. The industry is also seeking a ease of doing business measures including reduction in logistics costs and rationalization of drawback rates so that India can have a bigger share in the $73 billion global toy market. The freight cost from Bombay to different countries, that is quite a lot more than when we compare it to China. So we need the government to intervene and uh, either subsidize us or reduce the port charges for the shipping companies and also that these prices can come at the same level, the social compliance and the testing compliance, that is quite expensive in India. So again, that has to be taken care of somehow. Everyone hopes that the upcoming union budget will be a major game changer for India's growth story. The toy industry expects the government to announce a PLI scheme for toy manufacturing, restart the technology upgradation fund, make some kind of announcement to reskill and upskill the existing workforce. And with these announcements, the industry expects that this will not only cater to a boost in the domestic demand, but will also help to increase India's global market share in toy manufacturing from the existing 0.5% to at least 5 to 10% in the times to come. With video journalist Nitin and Saurabh, this is Dana Shannon for CNBC TV 18.